Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Mysterious Tombs. Five new tombs dating all the way back to the ancient Song Dynasty of China have just been discovered in the northwest province of Shanxi. The tombs were actually found while government workers were conducting road repairs. They broke through the surface of the road and came across some of the most stunning tombs ever seen. According to the head of the archaeological team, Li Kun, these subterranean chambers were all made from brick. Over 30 burial items have been uncovered so far, including copper coins and pottery pots. The chambers were also found to be decorated with weird cat carvings. Not jungle cats, but ordinary house cats cover these ancient tombs. It seems the people of the Song Dynasty, even a thousand years ago, had a fascination with house cats. As for who was buried in these amazing tombs, we don't really know that yet. The Song Dynasty began in the year 960 and lasted for around 300 years before they vanished. By 1279, the Yuan Dynasty from the north had come down to conquer China with help from the Mongolians, and the rest is history. Number 9. Clues from a Welsh City A very recent archaeological dig in 2022 has revealed the oldest house in the city of Cardiff. At least, that's what archaeologists are speculating right now. Researchers with the Kyra and Eli Rediscovering Heritage Project discovered a single clay pot that dates back 3,000 years. When the pot was found, the researchers had been trying to find a missing link between the Iron Age and the Roman period. Instead, Dr. David Wyatt says they found something even more remarkable. They stumbled upon a roundhouse near the Cardiff West Community High School, that shows the earliest clues of the origins of the Welsh city. To understand the complexity of what's happening here, we have to look at a few different periods in history. First, there is a place called the Kyra Hill Fort, about half a mile away from where the roundhouse was found. The hill fort was occupied in the late Iron Age, before the Romans showed up in Britain. But the researchers wanted to know what happened to the people of the hill fort following the Roman invasion. And so, they turned to the site near the high school, thinking the roundhouse might have been a secondary settlement. Instead, the roundhouse proved to be even older than the hill fort. It was occupied in the Bronze Age, around 1500 BC. And because it's standing in the city of Cardiff, that currently makes it the oldest known house there. But who made it, and how many other houses there were, and what they had to do with the Romans, is still a huge mystery. Number 8 the tortoise and the egg. A new strange and bizarre discovery has been found at the archaeological site of Pompeii. Inside, the Roman city buried in the ash of the volcanic eruption from 79 AD was found a tortoise and an egg. The tortoise and the egg were both discovered underneath the clay floor of a storehouse. Scientists believe the animal had probably died just before the actual eruption of Mount Vesuvius. It had dug itself a burrow underneath the storehouse so that it could safely lay its eggs. But then, something went wrong. According to Valeria Amoretti, an anthropologist who works at the site, the tortoise failed to properly lay any eggs, and that perhaps caused its death. The bizarre situation with the tortoise was discovered while experts were excavating an area of Pompeii that had been devastated before the eruption, about a decade earlier in 62 AD, by an earthquake. The earthquake had destroyed a large chunk of the city, and it had only recently been rebuilt when the volcano destroyed everything. But the story is not over yet. Researchers have been doing a lot of work to understand what was happening in Pompeii before the volcanic eruption. This tortoise has actually helped a lot. In this particular area, archaeologists have been able to figure out that not all the houses were rebuilt after the earthquake in 62. Many of the houses remained broken, and so the neighborhood became so deserted that wild animals moved in. This tortoise is evidence that even before the eruption, some neighborhoods of Pompeii were so sparsely populated that reptiles were living in the homes instead of humans. Number 7. Cultural Entanglement A recently discovered tomb has revealed some bizarre cultural entanglements between the ancient kingdoms of Egypt and Nubia. Egypt and Nubia were at war a lot. The Egyptians hated their neighbors to the south, and they fought plenty of legendary battles to try and dominate the region. And then, around 1500 BC, the Egyptians finally conquered Upper Nubia, the area of what is today Northern Sudan. 
Once the Nubians were conquered and the people from both nations started to mingle, they began to take on cultural aspects of each other. Evidence of this cultural mixing has been revealed in the recently discovered graves of a pair of women. These women were discovered buried in the Nubian style but decorated with Egyptian fashion. They were entombed at an old cemetery in the ancient village of Tombos in Sudan. After Egypt's first major occupation of Nubia, Tombos became a colonial center. This was where much of the governing was happening and where most of the Egyptian citizens would have moved to start their new lives in what to them was a new world. Both of the women were buried on a bed in a flexed position, which is 100% Nubian style. But around one of their necks was an amulet of the Egyptian god Bess, and around the neck of the other woman was an Egyptian heart scarab. Both women appeared to be of high status, though it's not clear if they were racially Nubian or Egyptian. Professor Smith from Purdue University says these burials are direct evidence of a kind of cultural mashup. People had the ability to choose whether they wanted Nubian things or Egyptian things, as the culture slowly bled into one another at the frontier land between the two kingdoms. Number 6. Medieval Demon The figure of a medieval demon was recently found during road construction in the United Kingdom. Workers were busy digging along part of a new section of Lincoln's Eastern Bypass when they came across the head of a sculpture that looked like it had come from outer space. This thing was ugly, with a bulbous nose like an anteater and huge eyes that could only belong to an otherworldly being. But of course, this figure was very much from our own planet. It actually dates back to around 1160 AD and is the head of a devilish beast. While it's not immediately obvious by looking at it because it's so weathered, the figure is supposed to have its mouth open and a human head stuck between its animal-like jaws. The carved head had probably come from a church or a chapel and was meant to depict a terrible demon swallowing a person down into its belly. This kind of sculpture is known as grotesque, a style of demon known as a beak head. There were all kinds of these things in the medieval days in churches across the UK, demons made to look like nightmarish birds. Priests and preachers would have used these extremely graphic sculptures in their sermons to make people afraid of the terrible fate that would await them in hell if they never repented. Number 5. Ancient Inca Tomb In the capital city of Lima, archaeologists discovered an ancient tomb from the days of the Inca Empire. But what's really crazy is that this tomb was discovered in the last place anyone would have expected. It was dug out from under an ordinary person's house. A working-class family came across the entrance to the tomb, where down below their floor was sleeping a noble who had been down there for 500 years. According to the lead archaeologist on the project, Julio Abanto, the tomb was probably used for elite members of the Riricancho Society. This was the culture that lived in Lima before the Inca showed up in the early 1400s and dominated most of Western South America. But because the city of Lima was built over the remains of the prehistoric world, most of Riricancho's history has been lost. This mysterious discovery was a total fluke. The owner of the house, Hippolito Tica, was nearly in tears when he was talking to interviewers. He was so overcome with emotion and surprise that an actual piece of ancient Peruvian history had been hiding under his floor. Experts believe there are probably plenty more tombs hidden underneath the neighborhood, maybe even the remains of temples and other ancient buildings. Number 4. Terracotta Statue Terracotta Statue number 28 is posed in an extremely strange position. The statue was found inside the mausoleum of the great Chinese emperor Qin Shi Huang in Shanxi province, one of the thousands of terracotta warriors that were buried with the emperor to protect him in the afterlife. This was upon his death in 210 BC, after he had founded the Qin dynasty and unified China for the first time in history. But this particular statue has proved to be a little more mysterious than the others. Almost every single terracotta warrior statue inside the mausoleum is in a sitting or standing position. But number 28 was crafted to be kneeling on the ground while leaning backwards so that its shoulders brush the ground, almost as if it was trying to limbo. The statue was taken out of pit K9901, and nobody's really sure why this statue was made to be so strange. One of the guesses is that number 28 
along with other statues from the pit, were meant to be entertainers for the emperor in the afterlife. This statue could have been doing some kind of dance act or literally trying to limbo. Where the other terracotta statues were warriors, this one appears to be part of some kind of army of terracotta entertainers. Number 3. Mysterious Coded Jewel An extremely mysterious jewel was recently discovered in North Carolina, specifically in Brunswick Town, a place which 300 years ago was practically on fire with hate for the British crown. This was a place where rebellions were plotted and where the British living in America planned their escape from British authority. The mysterious jewel was discovered in the ruins of a tavern, which actually predates the American Revolutionary period. The archaeologists found the pressed jewel on a very old cufflink and were shocked to see that it was inscribed with a secret code. There is a lot of information to unpack here, so let's go back to the tavern. It was built on the edge of Cape Fear River around the 1730s. Sometime in the 1760s, it burned down. That was one decade before the town itself was raised by the angry British during the Revolutionary War. We don't know why the tavern went up in smoke, but it may have had something to do with the revolutionaries conspiring inside of it. The jewel would have been worn on a cufflink, and it was etched with the tiny words, Wilkes and Liberty 45. This was the secret code that the American rebels used to show that they were in opposition to the King of England. This was a nod to the radical John Wilkes, who helped inspire the revolutionaries to fight back against their English oppressors. Number 2. Human Bone Jewelry On a small island in Lake Oniga, Russia, archaeologists discovered burial remains that date back 8,200 years. But these burial remains are far more disturbing than you could ever imagine. A group of researchers from the University of Helsinki examined the prehistoric grave goods that were buried with the people and discovered that the bodies and the artifacts had quite a lot in common. The artifacts that were buried with the Stone Age humans were made from Stone Age humans. Scientists have always known that in the Stone Age, our prehistoric ancestors made jewelry out of bones and teeth, but they had always assumed the prehistoric people used animal bones. The new analysis of the remains from Russia shows that they had actually been using human bones to make jewelry. A total of 177 graves were excavated on the island. Inside many of the graves were artifacts made from teeth and bone, decorated with things like elk, beaver, and brown bears. The researchers also found small sculptures of animals, showing how incredibly important these creatures were to Stone Age life in freezing Russia. The biggest shock came when the researchers decided to test the bones to see what animals they came from and found that nearly half the samples were human bones. It seems humans in the Stone Age had no problem dissecting their dead friends and turning a femur into a statue or their teeth into a necklace. Number 1. Arthur Stone Arthur Stone is a monument from the Stone Age that dates back 5,000 years. It can be found in England and is the subject of many different mythological tales and stories. There is even a legend that says the great King Arthur killed a giant here, and that when King Arthur knelt in front of the great stone to pray, his knee indentation was left etched on the ground. In 2022, archaeologists with the University of Manchester decided to find out once and for all what happened at Arthur's stone. They visited the giant monument located near the border of Wales and Herefordshire, and then they started excavating. They haven't found much so far, but believe the whole area was extremely busy in ancient times. This stone monument was erected around the same time Stonehenge was built, roughly 3,700 BC, and so it could have been made by the same druids. While even though Arthur's stone looks like a single rock standing about 13 feet long and weighing 25 tons, Initial excavations show it was probably part of something much larger. The entire structure may have been part of a mound over 100 feet long, with mysterious underground chambers. There could be bodies hiding under Arthur's stone, but the researchers still haven't found them. Thanks for watching! Would you wear jewelry made from human bones? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!